as we're walking into fitness. This is day one. I won't be puffing up hills by the time we get to day 19 or 20, I can tell you that. So, uh, but look, it's been an awesome journey so far. We've uh, conquered a couple of hills like this and uh, just been able to take time to look around, see ruins of old buildings, and paddocks, beautiful hills, the canola over there. It's just beautiful. It's just a, and just to think that these guys did this for five weeks, a hundred years ago, but they have to walk. I just, I'm just trying to get my head around that. Well, we're within a couple of k's of Bristale. We've been walking on all the old roads. I've got to say, the last couple of k's, my legs have started to say, what are you doing? And these beautiful boots that I've been wearing non-stop for three weeks, felt like I haven't even worn shoes. All of a sudden, I want to take them off. <laughs> but I guess we're walking into fitness, getting a bit of a connection with these blokes. Canola's out, the waddle's out, it's absolutely beautiful. And I'm uh, looking forward to doing this journey. Just this little edge of flower, so I'm So Jay Rushton here in the end of the first day of the Kangaroo March reenactment and I'm just outside the gorgeous little Brewsdale church where we're going to do a service in the morning. Um, I've got hat hair. Um, now the rest of the campers are just up the road at the fire station. Um, for tonight but we're going to go and have a bush dance at Downside after we've had dinner. Uh, the Downside uh, guys are going to give us dinner and then we're going to dance with the Tin Shed Rattlers. Now we've walked 15 k's today. We had an absolutely stunning uh, start to the march. I hope you got to watch it on the live stream link. If not, I do believe you can go and watch the recording of it for a little while. But look, I have to say it's been an incredible day. My feet are very sore. Uh, my back is sore. I'm feeling very tired. So I'm not quite sure how I'm going to go to a bush dance and actually dance tonight. But maybe after a good hearty meal, uh, I might get a second wind and be able to get into it. But uh, look, I just was overwhelmed today at how many people came out to welcome us. And uh, as we walked along these back country dirt roads, the families of the properties came out, not only to wave us on and to cheer us on, but some of them came out with boxes of apples. They came out <clears throat> with well wishes. And it just made me realize that the spirit of Australia that existed 100 years ago, that the rest of the world got to see for the first time when those boys fought in the trenches, is still alive and well here. We got to camp and um, you know the RMS were setting up the, the tents for us and I just have been overwhelmed at the goodness, the good heartedness of uh, the people of rural New South Wales. So I'm going to go off and get ready for this bush dance now and I'll talk to you at the next little video blog. Thank you, bye.